I recently heard the saying that demographics is destiny. Now let's think about that. Demographics can be loosely defined as the making of a population. So the makeup of a population that can be, you know, around gender, age, educational status, income status, ethnicity. And the continent of Africa with an average age of 19 years old has a demographic of one of the youngest populations expected to double within the next 50 years. And when we look at different empires or countries that have declining birth rates or are struggling in reproduction, you have to take a look at that when we think about the future growth of the world, of an economy, of an empire. And I feel like the information is already out there that we know that Africans will be the largest population on this planet in the next 50 years. One out of every three people in this, on this earth will be African based on the demographics of the African continent. And whether or not you agree, the data is there. And so when we have an, we have a demographic, a population of people that are living close to nature, that are living close to their culture, that are living with the fact that their, their reality consists of technology, digital currency, and global commerce and trade. The things that are being done now are gonna look very different in the future for our children. And so it's obvious that I personally am invested in the continent and I'm here, I'm living here, I'm raising my family here. And so in this video, I wanna talk about why the future is Africa and my thoughts around it. So welcome back everyone, our subscribers, our loyal watchers. If you're not subscribed to the channel, welcome to Ashley in Africa on my channel. I talk about my experience moving, living, and doing business here on the continent. I share my thoughts around love, motherhood, and entrepreneurship. And I'm obviously passionate about the continent of Africa or I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be invested here, building a life here, raising my two girls here to be so deeply connected with a culture, with a value system, with a language, with a spirituality that I feel is really going to be a part of the most powerful empire in the 22nd century. So welcome to the channel. Let's get into it. So as I mentioned, I heard that saying demographics is destiny. And with the youngest population, the average youngest population for any continent, it's already very clear that Africa is the future. It's in our demographics, right? It's in our demographics. It's in the data that shows how many people, how many Africans will actually make up the global population. We could also talk about sustainability. Africa is one of the least developed countries that is developing the most rapidly with the highest GDP um, of any continent globally, right? And so when we look at these demographics that can loosely be described as the makeup, right? The data makeup of a population or a society, there's that. Then there's education. So middle class, is rising here on the continent while it's declining in many Western countries, specifically in the US. The middle class is rising and the middle class on the continent, from my experience here in Tanzania as well as South Africa, are some of the most educated and the largest group of global travelers on the planet. So middle class is typically, you know, the group of people that are getting, you know, education primary, secondary, postgraduate, um, professional education. And they're also tr global travelers. Like I'd say even the middle class in the US does not travel as much as continental Africans. And I wouldn't even say that a lot of the continental Africans that cannot consider themselves middle class still travel the world. So they're educated and they have access to a global perspective 
and our global economy where there is now global trade and talks of a global currency. The next reason why Africa is the future, every other continent in the world is invested here on the continent. So while we're not getting this education in the melanated communities around the globe, Africa is being invested in by every other continent. Asia is invested here. The Chinese are invested here. India is invested here. America is investing on the continent. Um, Europe, the French, the Portuguese, the British, the, Span the Spanish, um, the South American, the Brazilians are invested here on the continent. And they're also a part of the great migration that has happened here on the continent. You know, I had a big challenge when I got to the continent and saw such a diversity of people. I was shocked. I was not prepared to see white people here on the continent. And that is just that, but they are here. They're, they're practically some third generation communities here. Turkish, Lebanese, Chinese, Japanese, Indian, Brazilian, Portuguese, did I already say that? So they're here and they're building communities here. They're not building communities. The middle class, the entrepreneur class, the innovative class of these cultures are building communities here in Africa. And whenever you see a great migration, when we've seen that in the history of the US, economic boom came after that. The next reason why Africa is the future is not only are these groups that I mentioned building communities here, they're building businesses here. They're developing infrastructure. They're invested in the infrastructure of the continent. Buildings, commercial, residential, supporting land projects, supporting water projects, supporting bridges and road projects. They're building businesses in addition to their communities here for the long-term growth and sustainability of this continent. Africa is the future. And the last reason, but one of the most important reasons is Africans are resilient. They are creative and they are hardworking. They are the closest to some of the global problems that this world has been facing. And with a lack of capital invested in them, they've still been able to see incredible growth. And while there are challenges, and yes, there are things happening, I have witnessed firsthand some of the most innovative practices, you know, products being created, ideas being created, negotiations on land deals, art, technology, blockchain, I mean, Africans are doing some of the best work there is to be done on the continent, and they're doing it with very little resource. And, you know, the conversation has been had. We're discussing and we're arguing as a community about the wrong things while all of these other communities are here and they're building and they're stra strategizing for their long term, those long term wealth and legacies of their country, of their culture. And so, there is no more need for discussion. Africa is the future. It is where we as a community should be building. It is where we as a community should be investing. And it's where we as a community should be collaborating on the future growth of our legacy as melanated people. And without that, we'll continue to rely on the systems that have always oppressed us and always kept us in a lower position to date. So that's my position on why Africa is the future. There's tons of additional research you could do, but I felt so moved to share this content today as I'm continuing to do my research on business, businesses, real estate development here on the continent. And quite frankly, I cannot be swayed from why I started this journey in the first place. And so I hope this was helpful. Please let me know what you think. What are some of your opinions on this topic? What are you doing? to contribute to the legacy and the growth of your family and the community as at large. So this is what I'm doing. I'm sharing the information and I hope you find it valuable. 
please like the video, share it with someone that could benefit from it. And if you have an interest on moving your family, expanding your business to the continent, I'd love to support you on your journey. Connect with me via the link below, get on my calendar, access the resources that I've created just for this community to be able to make this transition with a bit more ease. But until the next video, I'll see you soon.